Hello, welcome to my new lesson. My name is Imelda and today's lesson is for all those who struggle to use the right word when they are writing something, maybe an email or a letter or a story. We will be talking about homophones. Homo means similar while phones means sounds. I'm very sure in a lot of places or in a lot of situations you come across words that sound very similar but they mean absolutely different things. And if you want to use those words while writing, you've got to be careful as a wrong choice of words can give a different meaning to your email or a letter that may be very important to you. So let's take a look at few examples that we have for here. The first one I have for you is allowed. Allowed means a permission. That means something or someone is allowed. This is how you will use it. Maybe um, John is allowed in the office. Why? Because John has the permission to enter the office. But there is another word that sounds very similar. It also, it also sounds like allowed, but this means a lot of sound. Now imagine if you say John is allowed in office. If you want to write it, if you're using this word, it means John is allowed or John has the permission to enter the office. However, if you use this allowed, it means that John sounds very, John makes a lot of noise in the office or he's very vocal in the office. So allowed versus allowed. Moving on to complacent versus complacent. I know it sounds very similar, but it is completely different or they are completely different from each other. One complacent means uncritical satisfaction with oneself. Key here is one self. How do you use this in a sentence? For example, you say, we cannot afford to be complacent with our performance. That means when we do something, we have to make sure that whatever we do is right and it's up to the standards. Also, some people use this term when they're talking about security. We cannot be complacent with the security of the nation. Got it? Yeah, that's the word complacent. However, we have another word which is complacent, which means agreeable or shall I say obligated. This means I'm complacent to my boss. That means I'm very agreeable. Whatever my boss says, I say, yes, boss, you are right. And I know whatever you say is right. I don't use my own brains. So people use it in a way that my complacent staff will never be able to go against my decision. Complacent means uncritical satisfaction versus complacent means agreeable or obligated. Moving on to the next one is dear or dear. Now this dear, it means when you regard someone with affection and you will use this word, especially when you're writing an email to someone who is very important. You're going to use dear. Please note it is D E A R. This makes a lot of difference. You're regarding that person with affection. However, this dear means an animal. Uh, you know, if you've seen, it looks something like this. It has a very sharp face. It's got two ears, but it's got like big horns. Okay, vegetarian basically. But it's actually you find you find them in forests. They graze grass. You cannot use this deer for an email or a letter because they totally mean different things. Got it? Yeah. The next time if you're writing an email, please be watchful of the third letter, which is an A and not an E. Okay? Yeah. Moving on to the next one. Fourth. Fourth means, is, fourth means being away from a starting point. 
you will use this in sentence like bring forth the news or bring forth the table because that particular item or information is somewhere and you want to bring it forward okay so it's bring forth something which is like coming closer to you moving away from a starting point however the other word which is which sounds very similar is forth it's a number it's a number four how will you use it you will say you, you want to use it in a way like first for one second for two third for three and fourth for four for example i can say i i'll not say i because that's very personal let's say person xyz is the fourth child in the family or the um you know oh china is ranked fourth amongst the largest economy in the world so this is fourth you cannot use this word to ask someone to bring forth you can't say bring forth uh, or you can't say china is the fourth economy in the world now this is wrong when you're writing the right spelling would be f o u r t h fourth and fourth sound very similar but mean different means different okay second uh, now the next we have is meat now meat is according to oxford dictionary happen to come into someone's presence okay that means when you go somewhere and you see another person so that's a meeting you may want to greet the person and say hello my name is imelda how do you do that's a formal conversation in a meeting you meet a person it's a, you come into someone's presence that's meet however the other word is meat which means a flesh of an animal so you cannot say i want to meet you if you're using an a instead of e please be careful e e and e a sound e so meet and meet while this means coming into someone's presence this means a flesh of an animal or a mammal moving on to the next one we have is swat versus swat well this swat according to oxford dictionary means a sharp blow okay so any time you're hitting something very hard you're giving it a swat however this term is also used for group of soldiers why because they are expected to give a sharp blow to their enemies or to a critical situation which is very unfavorable am i correct great but there's another swat which means strength weakness opportunity and threat this is a short form used by many companies or many corporate giants for a 360 degree analysis that means they want to make sure that what are your strengths what are your weakness what all things can you improve and what all things can harm you so it's a swot analysis it's kind of feedback that they will give you swot versus swot the last one i have for you is and very important is loan versus loan loan means debt with interest please be careful this is pronounced as debt and not debt it's debt debt with interest debt with interest whereas loan means to single out something so if i want to make a sentence or if i want to write this in a sentence i will say please grant me a loan of 10000 dollars that's the loan l o a n however if you use this word please grant me loan 10000 dollars it means give me a single pack of 10000 dollars practically and grammatically it's incorrect you cannot use this word for this so next time if you're asking for a loan or if you read a financial newspaper or a magazine you know what exactly are they talking about when they use these letters right hey okay. i this brings us to the end of the lesson i hope you've learned something new you've learned something useful i will be coming back with another lesson with more vocabulary more grammar more voice and accent and anything and everything that you may want I'll be back soon. Until then, have fun learning English. Stay healthy, be beautiful. See you and bye-bye.